So today the Fed meeting minutes got released and uh, we're going to go over what they talked about. Uh, so basically these are the meeting minutes from their January FOMC meeting. And basically, I mean, we all know rates going higher. So we're going to really talk about the balance sheet, which to me has always been the bigger concern. So if we just go here and we look at balance sheet, you see that they're expecting the runoff to start later this year. You'll see. Um, yeah, so that's the same thing. Talking about the same thing. They got to reduce the size of the balance sheet. So if we go over to this article, you will see that they're saying um, faster pace of inflation or faster pace of rate increases if inflation doesn't slow down, which is more than likely not. It may slow down and remain elevated, but I personally don't see it just flat out coming down. So we talking faster pace of rate increases and significant reduction in the size of the balance sheet. So they're not talking about reducing the balance sheet. We're talking about a significant reduction. That's the word, the verbiage that they used. So we're talking about a, a nearly nine trillion dollar balance sheet, and we've looked at it a couple of times here on this channel. And we talk about quantitative tightening, and um, it, it is not received well by the markets. So we'll see what happens. We can look at how stuff is reacting now. Um, gold had broke out today. Uh, here's the IWM. I'll, I'll, I'll put it on uh, like one chart for you. So here's the Russell 2000. It looked like he was making an attempt to break out after the meter minutes got released at 1400 today. It started to go higher. I'm not surprised to see a rejection starting. Um, absolutely nothing about that report was bullish. If anything, it was bearish or maybe e even a, if I were bullish on the markets right now, I would say the report was neutral. But being realistic, that report was bearish in a um, medium to longer term view. So I'm not. I mean, we, inflation is a problem. So we talked about gold. Well, first off, we'll, we'll just look at IWM uh, on a daily. And I mean, it's like wedging up into a known, a strong resistance error. So that right there alone is not, I, I don't I don't like that kind of setup. That is crazy bearish from a technical point in my, in my opinion. Uh, you get to this, honestly, 207 to 212. Really, right now, 205 to 212. I mean, you got a lot, you had a lot of support here. So the Russell 2000 to a lot of people might be dead money right now. Um, I mean, it it more than likely is. So gold started to break out. We need to take out 175. Um, we had a breakout here. We had a pullback yesterday and we had a strong bounce today. And with this talk of inflation persisting, the Fed in a um, report, talked about inflation uh being higher and stuff so everybody's reading this report markets haven't really chosen a direction yet but um that's breaking out barracks go they reported earnings today they beat uh the stock was already breaking out uh today kind of confirmed it in my opinion um i would love for us to come back and retest anywhere between 19 and 21 or uh yeah, 21.2. So we'll see what we get. Uh, I am long gold right now. Uh, well, I got long yesterday. Uh, took profit like 25%, about 40% on some February and March positions. And I'm still holding some September and June. I got September bearish gold and June uh, GLD, the actual commodity. So bearish gold, they're doing... Uh, I think they increased their dividend by 11% and they are doing $1 billion worth of share buybacks in uh, over the next 12 months. So that's what you want to see. You want to see these companies that already got pricing power and um, or they're, you know, uh, trading a commodity or dealing with commodities that are um, 
beneficiaries of inflation. So something like this would be great. So and you can see here too that we've taken out some um, old support levels. And I mean, it's, this is clear as day that this is trying to break out. So I got some shares of this and some shares of GLD as well. Um, I mean, that's pretty much the market right now. And I mean, medium to longer term, we bearish in um, my view. If the markets wanted to take off, they would have took off. It, I mean, we, we haven't broken any levels. We're, we're trying to creep and break, but nothing's being broken yet. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, everybody got to digest this report, but in my opinion, it ain't too bullish. I mean, it's very bearish, so we'll see where markets go over the next few days. Uh, I would definitely expect a pullback. And like I said in my previous videos, I have sold all of my stock positions and I'm only holding GLD and GOLD, which I got into either Monday or last Friday, something like that. So uh, this is pretty much a stock market and we'll see what happens from here. And remember, PPI came out yesterday and was hot. It was very hot. Core PPI was also hot. Bullard already telling us that inflation is broadening. So it's not just pandemic related sections or, or sectors and industries that are seeing these uh, massive increases in inflation. It's pretty much everything. So that's bearish, man. Um, I don't I think we probably take out. I mean, we'll see when we get there, what kind of setup we have when we get there. But I mean, I think the Russell is definitely going back to this 190 191 area we will see if it holds it more than likely will try to bounce again but i will say i'm not even concerned about going long on much of anything until that late march time frame um like we talked about in the previous other video spy the the, the market tends to see um, a weak seasonal period starting right now in this mid uh, mid February time frame, and it pulls back through late March. And I think we have every reason to continue pulling back. Um, I think we fundamentally, I believe that, and on a technical basis, we clearly have reasons to pull back. This is not pretty. This is not a bottom. I mean, it's a tradable short to medium term bottom, but I think this is our top right here, short to medium term top. So we'll see where markets go in the next few days. Um, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. And um, I'll catch y'all for the next video.